Hi, I'm Caroline Schaefer, and I'm here with my team, Charlie Coe, Jesse Fleck, Morgan McFerrin, Taryn Wade, and Emma Weger. We have been working to come up with an integrated marketing communications plan for your team at Nothing Bunk Cakes. You are a privately held franchisor of gourmet bakeries in the niche bakery category that specializes in readily available bunk cakes. Your franchise has only one store in the Boulder area, however, 300 plus bakeries across the United States and Canada. Although a big company, you pride yourselves on having a mom and pop shop feel. Your target audience is adults with disposable income in the local community where price is not an important factor. You also target people that come in for everyday treats as well as gift givers getting cakes for birthdays, holidays, and other special occasions. We saw a growth opportunity to increase your customer base by targeting local families, more specifically parents in the Boulder area, area with a high disposable income. We believe you should direct your advertising methods towards these families. However, there is a challenge in pursuing that growth opportunity because although Nothing Bunk Cakes has that mom and pop shop feel, it is still viewed as a national corporation. This makes it challenging to convince those local families to choose Nothing Bunk Cakes over their local bakeries. We recommend that you invest in advertising methods that directly involve themselves in the local community. We have come up with various ways to do this. Your guys' main competitors in the Boulder area are Boulder Baked, Kim and Jake's Cakes, Lucky's Bakehouse, and Peace, Love, and Chocolate. Now, Jesse's gonna go ahead and talk about our communication objectives. So starting off with our first communication objective, it is to acquire 300 new customers by the end of the campaign. Nothing Bunt Cakes should partner with local elementary schools in Boulder in order to increase their word of mouth advertising and acquire a larger local customer base. Throughout elementary school, kids tend to have large class birthday parties and events, and this would be a great opportunity for Nothing Bunt Cakes to increase their presence in the community and be the local go-to bakery. By partnering with local schools, Nothing Bunt Cakes would provide flyers that are handed out to kids in their classrooms with specific promotion codes. We will track this through new customer acquisitions with specific promotion code provided and track influxes and membership accounts. Now on to the second objective, which is to strengthen brand loyalty with customers. In order to reinforce brand loyalty, we are creating a tiered loyalty program. This will strengthen retention among our everyday customers, incentivize new customers to return, and show how much Nothing Bunt Cakes values their loyal customers. We are implementing a three-tiered program loyalty program, bronze, silver, and gold, and as customers advance, they unlock greater promotions and deals. We will measure the success of this program by tracking sales among memberships and membership tier advancements. Now off to Taryn to talk about our other three communication objectives. Thanks, Jesse. For our third communication objective, we are wanting to build awareness in the local community by 25%. We aim to achieve this by creating a special campaign for Boulder residents and advertising it on the business page of Nextdoor. We believe that this advertising will be effective because locals use this app in order to learn more about local news, businesses, and services. We hope that Nothing Bunt Cake neighbors will feel more connected to this bakery if they have the ability to join you all in giving back to our community. The fourth objective is to increase trial by implementing a referral program. The most effective way to gain new customers is the word of mouth advertising from loyal customers. So we would be sending emails to our customers with accounts, including the details of the program. This program will encourage trial as both you and your friend will earn 20% off of your order if you mention who referred you at checkout. We'll be able to de determine the success of this by tracking monthly sales and how many new customers sign up for our loyalty program. Currently, there is only one Nothing Bunt Cake Instagram, which is why we chose making increasing social media presence and interactive content among local customers our fifth communication objective. We will do this by creating an Instagram and Facebook account for this bakery. This will allow Amy and her staff to post about your products or promotions, interact with customers outside of the bakery, and even feature or repost customers' content that showcases the bakery's exceptional and customizable work. Also, Instagram is a great platform for business to utilize because it constantly measures reach, interaction, followers, and likes. Now, Emma will further discuss two of these objectives in a creative brief analysis. Thanks, Taryn. So for our first creative brief, we want to generate brand awareness with local Boulder families. We want to do this to get the community to view Nothing But Cakes as a local mom and pop shop. 
For this campaign, we are talking to local Boulder families with disposable income. The community currently views Nothing But Cakes as a franchise because they feel like Nothing But Cakes lacks the homey feel that many other local bakeries in Boulder have. We are trying to communicate that your company cares about the local community and sees Boulder as your family. In order to persuade the community on this, we are proposing a campaign with Nextdoor, which was discussed in Objective 3. Once again, this campaign will include a featured advertisement on the Nextdoor app. With a purchase of $15 or more, local residents can present the advertisement and 15% of proceeds will go towards supporting local healthcare workers. And for our second creative brief, we are attempting to increase retention rates and brand loyalty with nothing but Cake's existing customers. We want to reward your best customers in order to maintain and continue building your customer base. Happy customers mean word of mouth advertising, which leads to further expanding your customer base. Your current customers currently purchase from Nothing But Cakes, but they don't all view it as their local bakery. We wanna communicate that Nothing But Cakes cares about your customers and offers superior customer service. We want the customers to go to Nothing But Cakes as a local bakery and keep coming back. In order to persuade them, we want to implement a three-tier loyalty program discussed in Objective 2, which once again will reward customers with points based on their level and the dollar amount they spend at your store, giving them incentive to come back and shop with Nothing But Cakes. And now Charlie will discuss the media mix allocation. Thanks, Emma. So the majority of our allocation will go towards our digital and social media advertising. Our next door and Instagram efforts fall into this category, making up 50% of our allocation. Next is our direct marketing with another 25%. This includes our school efforts, our flyer campaign, and finally, our promotions and publicity category takes our last quarter of allocation. This includes our loyalty program, referral program, and making the public more aware whenever the store gives out our unused product. These are, are an idea of what our IMC visual efforts would look like in our campaign. And moving on to scheduling, uh, we think that a pulsing schedule will be the most efficient advertising scheme. Since students and parents are one of our primary targets of reach, increased flyers and referral releases around the back to school months will be important for our elementary school crowd and the end of the school year will be an important time for high school and college graduation parties. I'll now pass it off to Morgan who will talk about our budgeting. When looking at our budget, we're gonna start off with digital and social. The next door campaign comes at no additional cost as it has a free sign up for a business page. For Instagram, we estimate about $60 per week as it costs $6 per 1,000 impressions and our goal is 10,000 impressions per week. We plan on running this ad for three months. For direct marketing, flyers for elementary schools are estimated to be $470, which is a quote we received from Vistaprint for 5,000 flyers. For a loyalty program that offers $5, $5 off as customers increase in points, we estimate around $50 per week in discounts. In giving away used cakes, this is a loss of materials that we predict to be a loss of $150 per week. Now a few words from the owner, Amy, on what she thinks make, makes nothing but cakes so special. That question, it's special because I know that it makes me feel good. As a consumer, when I receive the cake, it's a feel-good product. So I knew that getting into this business, um, it would be something that I would need to share with my friends, my family, and our community. In conclusion, we believe that Nothing Bunt Cakes has a niche business model that will allow them to continue their efforts in creating a better relationship with their local community. This is a great opportunity for Nothing Bunt Cakes to connect with local customers through these recommendations provided. Thank you.